February 14th, a day that should have been full of love, turned deadly when a gunman opened fire at a high school in Parkland, Florida. 17 people were killed and 17 more were injured. With this being the 18th school shooting in 2018, according to the gun control advocacy group Every Town for Gun Safety, the outrage over gun control has increased. Politicians who sit in their gilded House and Senate seats funded by the NRA telling us nothing could have ever been done to prevent this. We call BS! This outrage is what led to the March for Our Lives in downtown Washington, D.C., March 24th, where thousands of supporters showed up in support of strengthening gun laws and stopping gun violence. However, the March in Washington is not the only case that this matter is being fought against. In D.C., there are many local organizations that work towards combating gun violence and strengthening gun laws. At the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence, the organization uses policy development, strategic engagement, and effective advocacy to combat gun violence. Last week, there were three of us on staff that went to the D.C. Council on Public Safety, and we testified in support of their version of an extreme risk law. Legislative Director Christian Heine shared how losing his mother to gun violence affects what he does now. You know, like so many survivors of gun violence, um, what happened is we kind of started putting our pieces back together. You know, my dad had to feel his, had to heal physically. Uh, we all had to do some healing emotionally. And then we started like peeling back the layers of the onion and tried to say, how exactly did this guy get access to the weapons that he used this day? For Howard University News Vision, I'm Acacia James.